What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Digi Tavern. And this one's a, a quick video here because I want to kind of go over something really quickly. Um, so, I recently purchased an Elite Trainer Box Champion's Path. Now, I opened it already because well, we'll, we'll get into that here in a second. But the reason why it is opened is because as you can see, I bought two. And we're looking at the damages and verified authentic from stock X now if you've ever, I've heard plenty of things from about stock X and if you've heard things about stock X we're gonna find out if it's true or not and I, I had a weird feeling so I went ahead and opened this one up to see if uh, if some of the things were kind of true so we're gonna take a look and honestly I'll be honest uh, I think the, the thing the rumors are true. So here is a vivid uh, dark uh, darkness ablaze pack. You can see that there is a bit of an opening here, right there on the edge. Now I bought these directly from Pokemon uh, months ago. Now it could be from a situation that they've been sitting here for a while. I don't know, uh, but you can see that they have like this weird kind of like space spacing here, kind of like as if they weren't sealed properly. But I know for a fact that these were from Pokemon. When I bought them, they looked like this. So they look like this, but they had this on it. So the Pokemon plastic. That's how you know you are getting a direct uh, purchase from Pokemon. And you know that's that's how you know. So I've got this here and these. So we can look at all these, and you can see that not all of them have it, but some of them do. And maybe it's just wear and tear. I don't know. Maybe it's from sitting in a space or something. Uh, not entirely sure. So we're gonna get into this guy. So Champion's Path, Elite Trainer Box. Now, like I said, I already opened it, so it might be upside down. It is what it is. Uh, so you get your booklet, which is just like uh, with the only box set that we opened up. You know, you get a chance to see what's in here, which is cool. That's nice. And then the box. So the box is supposed to come with uh, sleeves, spacers, uh, books, die set, promo card, and some packs of cards, and of course energies. So we're gonna check it out and see what what the real deal is with the stock X stuff. So in, again, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, cause like see, like it has like it had dust on it on the inside, and this was supposed to be sealed in plastic. So how is there dust on the inside? I'm not sure. This doesn't, it didn't feel right because when I shook it, there was a lot of rustling and I, I don't know, it didn't feel good. So again, I've opened all this already. Like I opened this, this stuff untouched. So booklet, as you've seen in the other ones, card sleeves. QR code, there's our Charizard V, which is a very pretty card. If you watched the video with Mariana our, in our last video, uh, one of her friends who actually get hooked us up with the uh, Elite Trainer Box, the Shiny Fates one, uh, actually gave her one of those. So that was really nice. Okay, so now here's what we're talking about. So looking at these right off the bat, like, one of the first things I look at when I get cards that are uh, packaged like this or that are not bought from Amazon or directly from Pokemon, I look for spacing. So spacing is one of the big ones that can kind of tell you if there's air, if there's a lot of give in one side. So you can see like it's got, it's got some spacing, which is fine, that's what you want. This one, no different. The only thing that really throws me off, though, is how crinkled some of these are on the top. You can see the spacing on the pack opening right there. That's a big one right there. That's a big one right there. That's a big one. So it didn't feel it didn't feel right to me. We're gonna we're gonna open these packs, of course. We're gonna get into them, and uh, if everything works out, hey, cool, great. We got if we pull some amazing cards buy from StockX. If not, uh, I would probably stay away. <laughs> Let's 
so that's and see like look this is wasn't even properly close i didn't notice this look it was ripped now that could have been me i'm not entirely sure we'll see so these are 20 20 packs so i did notice that there is a difference from 2021 and 2020 sleeves uh, there is a kind of hazy film on these and these are way more clear so if uh, i didn't realize that was a thing but uh so this is shining fates and this is champion's path and you can see that there's a little bit of a difference one more silky one more shiny and one more matted and there is definitely a haze on this one than there is on this one uh, just a little thing uh, so if it seems weird that's why all right so there's that we're gonna open this bad boy up And that's a pretty card. It's definitely a pretty card. Look at that Charles Art V. That's a good looking card. Leave that guy right there. All right, let's, so let's go ahead and get into these. Um, so we've got a couple of these, 10 of them, and we're gonna go, go ahead and blah, 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 blah. we're gonna go ahead and get into them. Uh, if I don't sound as excited, it's because I kind of feel like I may have gotten ripped off, but all that can change with some with some good pulls so even opening the pack it felt the same um, so there's a chance that none of this is all all this is just in my head from watching videos and getting scared who knows we'll find out uh, so water grass all right pokemon center lady hop trainer card big teeny that's a pretty card it's a good looking card swablu cloud bird machop look at that guy that's a pretty art Galarian Zigzagoon, Vulpix, look how pretty, Rock Rough, and, and Hollow Energy. I didn't know this was in here. This is kind of cool. Reminds me of X and Y, though. And a Zygarde. Foil card. Pretty card. Good looking card. Leave that guy right there. Let's get into the next one. Yeah, I watched a lot of videos before I... Well, I read a lot about StockX before I decided to pull the trigger on it. So, you know, I, I pulled the trigger on it because I wanted... I couldn't find cards, and I was going to take the hit. So, you know, this was before we got all the Shining Fates box. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, fire. Grass again. Look at that choke. Oh, that's fierce. Look at that. That dude looks bad. Man, that dude looks good. Look at that bee drill. This is a pretty card. Man, that's that's a good looking bee drill. Look at that Arbok. Oh man. Silizopede, Pokeball, Claymation, Weedle, Kakuna, Carvana, Nicket. I think that's our foil card. And Professor's Research. Foil card. So I've not seen a ton of Champions Path uh, in the stores. Shining Fates, yes, but not this one. Electricity, I didn't guess. I would have guessed something else. Malamar, another Machoke. Pokemon Center Lady, Full Heal, Raleigh Collie, Much Help, Slizzlepeed, Pokeball, Turffield Stadium, Reversed Foil, and Center Scorch. That's a pretty card. Look at that. Holographic Rare. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't expect to like pull anything uh, spectacular, but you know, let's see. Uh, water, electricity, Rotom Bike, Machoke, Beedrill, Kakuna, Naked, 
Suave, Cloudbird, Machope, Galarian, Zigzagoon, Inverted Foil Hop, and Professor's Research. Alright, now I'm getting a little skeptical. Alright, let's do it. Uh, electricity, fighting, hyper potion, Malamar, Much Oak, Full Heal, Scraggy, Ekans, Kakuna, Nicket, Marnie, Inverted Foil, and oh, Grap Locked V. That's a good looking card. That is a beast looking Pokemon. Give him a sleeve. That's a pretty card. Not so skeptical, still kind of skeptical. It's just hard to it's just hard to trust a third party resellers. It's just it is hard, and it's hard to like trust that people are not just trying to get your money and not give you what you're paying for kind of situation. Uh, I'd say fighting. Psychic. Arbok. Rotom Bike. Suspicious Food Tin. Swablu with the Rainbow. Slizzlebead. Weedle. Angry Weedle. Galarian Zigzagoon. Rock Ruff. Inverted Foil Rock Ruff. And a Scentus Scorch. Another Scentus Scorch. Alright. I don't know. Psychic. Metal. Absol. Another Victini. Sonia. Galarian the Noon. That's a cool art. Carvana. Nice art. Swablu. Sizzlepeed. Weedle, a foil metal energy card. We got something here. Boom! Oh, how oh, creamy V Max. Look at that. Look at that pretty card. Jeez, that's a that's a good looking card. Oh, that thing is shiny. Not shiny, but you know, glossy. Look at that guy. That is a pretty card, man. Look at that. G Max Whisk. That's funny. Alright, three packs. Maybe I've just kind of like, you know, we, we've opened up some potentially weird packs on this channel, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just psyching myself out. Uh, water. There it is. Come on. Pokemon Center Lady. Team Yell Grunt, another Victini, that's three on the day, Hatina, Inkei, Weedle, Galarian the Noon, Carvana, look at that inverted, inverted foil, Vulpix, look at that invoil, invoil, inverted foil, Vulpix, that's a pretty one, and, oh, look at that, look at that Machamp, that guy looks good. Holographic rare. He's a 26 out of 73. Macho revenge. I didn't guess. I would not have guessed Dark. Hatrim. Milo. Great Ball. Kakuna. Trubbish. Hatana. Inkai. Weedle. Scrafty. Inverted Foil. Looks like we got something here. Got a water type here. 
Oh, there's that Dreadnought V that I was looking for. Nice. That right there is definitely worth it. Wanted him for a while. He's one of the few that I wanted from this set. Last pack. Let's see if we can do some last pack magic. Uh, electric. Let's go electricity. Boom. Grass. Rotom Phone. Absol. Great Ball. Galarian Lanoon. Four Hill. Purloin. Kakuna. Trubbish. Inverted Foil. Scraggy. And a third professor's research. Now, I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Like, that's, that's too many professor researches. Like, that's just too many. Uh, but these are good. These right here. These are definitely really cool. We have a, Zy uh, uh, a Zygarde. We, since the Scorch was cool, this is a little too much. And, uh, uh, I mean, we, we burned through that box pretty quick. So, uh, let's clear the mat and let's do the next one. Uh, yeah, let's do the next one. We can do it pretty fast. So, if you're enjoying this music, it is brought to you by Game Chops, Mikhail. Uh, this is some of my favorite lo-fi music for Pokemon. Uh, I I put the link always in the bottom of the videos because I want you guys to go listen to him because uh, he's got some good beats and they've got good music out there and if you've been following my social media I've been actually more uh, active with putting cards and putting things out there like that so definitely worth a, a follow if you if you like Pokemon cards and if you like cooking and D&D &D. <laughs> alright so next box so again buying from StockX you got the sticker I want to say they repackage this because uh, this doesn't this packaging looks different from check this out here's that one so check this out see this this one's from the store so it is a little different on the ceiling now I've heard of people I, I used to work at GameStop so I used to see cards or games come in all the time resealed um, so maybe it's normal or maybe it's not so normal I'm not entirely sure but you can see it's already torn in the bottom I don't know it's sketch it's sus but it is what it is let's get into it and then you hear the rock like I feel like that doesn't happen with this one I don't know. Maybe I'm just psyching myself out. I'm in no way trying to hate on StockX. I just, uh, some of the horror stories just kind of have freaked me out. That's all. Alright, so let's get into the box. Weird scuffing on the top. So just like before, let's check these cards. Yeah, look at that. I could be over speculating, but even this looks like it wasn't even properly cut. You know, same with this one. And then that gap, you can see the ton of gaps on this one. Look at that, that's a big one. Those are big gaps. But you got these cards. Yeah, well, you know. We'll see. I don't like the idea of like purchasing cards people have already opened, you know? That are supposed to be new, that is. And see, look, that was upside down. You see that? That was upside down. Yeah, that, that doesn't happen. That never happens. Yeah. Yeah, that never happens. You'll never find a QR code flipped the other way. 
That's not something that happens in Pokemon collecting cards. They always put it the other way. Yeah. It feels flimsy. Look, it slipped over again. Yeah, it slipped over again. That's a good card. All right, okay, so yeah. Um, we're gonna keep these separate. That's, uh, we're gonna keep it separate. So, so far we've got two packs that are with the QR code facing up. Three packs. I'm gonna say that all of these packs are gonna have all the QR codes faced up. Because, I don't know, they've had to be messed with. <laughs> Dreadnought V, it's a pretty card. You know, and it, <laughs> I don't know, it just, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's cool that we're getting these cards, but the, the kind of like, like you, we, you just, you saw it, the first batch of cards that we opened, QR code, face down, as per usual. These guys, for some reason, they're faced up. And I don't know, it just feels weird. Yeah, it just feels weird. There's another one. Alright, let's, let's do it. Then. Great Ball, Mudchomp, Swablu, Naked, Kakuna, Ekans, Carvana, and Duraldalon B. Duraldalon, Duraldalon. It's really. <laughs> It's really spoiling the, the, the cards right now for me. It is, like, I'm not gonna lie. There it is again. I don't understand. Slizzle, Scraggy, and Marty. You know, this is why, this is why, like, I gotta appreciate the fact that, like, those dudes at GameStop that helped, helped me out pick up those cards earlier this last time, or last time, because their whole point of, like, selling their cards basically was, we want to give them to people who are actually collectors. We don't want to give them to people who are going to resell. And I don't think StockX cares about that. I think they just care about the amount of money they can bring in. And I, it just, oof, man, it, I'm, I'm, oof. <laughs> Suspicious Food Tin, Lipard, Hyper Potion, Sizzlepeed, Raleigh Kali, Inkay, Nicket, Hatina, and Altaria, Cloudbird, Part 2. Pretty, pretty card. Okay. Maybe... This, it's just maybe they're supposed to be this way. I don't know. The other pack wasn't. Can only assume that we're getting kind of screwed over here. That match up. Invert foil. Let's go far. And another synthesis scorch. <laughs> I just like ripped. I don't know. It just feels. Feels weird, feels bad, and then like I did look up to see like if there were potential, like if you could return it, but because of the uh, what's the word they use? Because of the uh, uh, 
I don't know, because of the, uh, something about, like, because they don't know who they're purchasing from, uh, they can't, they can't directly return it back to anybody, so this is, like, an anonymous nature of selling, so, uh, it's safe to say I don't think I'm ever gonna buy from StockX again, uh, not cards, probably not, not anything, because they don't really sell, sell anything that I really care, care about, uh, like rock. This is the only stuff I would care about to buy from them, but I'd much rather buy from like, I guess eBay, because at least eBay has a return policy. If you buy from someone who has a return policy, I guess. But at least you know, like, all right, this person screwed me over. Bead and Gardevoir V. Not the first one I have. Uh, but I think this is the first English one I've got, so that's cool. Last pack. Should I really be upset though with these pools? No, I really shouldn't because these are good looking cards. But... It's the principality, you know. And a hat train. All right, so that's it. So that is it. That's all the cards for the day. That's all the packs today. That was 20 packs of Champions Path. Half of them seem to be a little, well, I feel like all of them seem to be a little touched up with. Uh, but that is what we pulled today Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check and see if these cards actually these QR codes are working Because if they don't work, then I'll know for a fact and if they do work I don't know. Maybe it's just weird weird stuff. I wouldn't recommend buying from StockX This is cool and everything but uh, I will say that this is not worth it Not for the money that I called that I paid for uh, this is not worth it and it, you can kind of see like it kind of took the uh, excitement away from me so normally here on this channel we like to open these packs up and get pretty excited about this stuff and uh, I mean as beautiful as these cards are I mean like that Altaria uh, the Lycanroc the Venusaur V which was what we just looked at and we're like man we really wish I could get that the uh, VMAX card the Machamp uh, and Dreadnought like Dreadnoughts those are the ones that I was kind of looking for uh, it is a little less special because I feel like they have been tampered with. But hey, if you want to buy from StockX, that's your decision. Go for it. Maybe you have better luck than I do. Uh, but until next time, we'll open up more of these Elite Trainer packs that we got here for our Shining Fates. We've got one more box to get through. And until next time, guys, we'll see you here in the Digitower. Peace.